Hello and welcome to CS Knits. I am your host, Chandra, and today is November 20th, 2014. It is 4 o'clock in the early evening here. Um, I was going to put off doing a video until I ordered some goodies, is why. And I thought, okay, well, I'll just wait until I get those. <clears throat> and then I'll do a video. But my in-laws are coming in today. They should be here probably in the next couple hours. And I figured we're starting remodeling on some of our rooms and I wasn't sure if I would get time to just sit down and actually do a video anytime soon. So with that being said, I do have goodies that will come in my next video. So stay tuned for that. I'm pretty excited. Uh, some yarn, some baggage. Um, I'll show you my other baggage that I splurged on today. Um, I do have, I don't have a lot to show, but I do have some things to show. So, um, that being said, I will start with this guy. Okay, so <coughs> I am a person who... I will watch the Home Shopping Network. Not always a good thing, but um, I like to watch it till like, I fall asleep and things like that. Well, unfortunately, I turned to it in a time where it was purses, and I am a purse person. I love purses. That's my weakness. For some women, it's like shoes. Mine is purses. So I ordered myself a Dooney and Burke, and they had like a a QVC special on it so I'm pretty excited about that it's my first ever Dooney and I was really excited to get it and to use it and so I ordered what I'm waiting for is a Jordana Page purse which she sorry she specifically is um, she makes her purses with knitters crocheters in mind and they are fantastic so I will do I have a different one of hers, and maybe I'll go get it. Just a second. Okay, sorry about that. I didn't really think about doing this. Okay, so this bag is a Jordana Page uh, bag, and I got this maybe a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, and it is like a messenger bag. Unfortunately, every time I carry it, my husband goes, who's briefcase, and I'm like, Okay, so it's got one huge shoulder strap, and then the other handle is just this handle. This is it. This is called Cezanne, and it has a back pocket here. I can't remember if it was, it's not magnetic. Yes. Feel it. It's magnetic. And then <clears throat> the open is like a toggle switch, so you flip it and it's kind of hard like if you have stuff in there you have to apply quite a bit of pressure and then pull out to get it to close so <clears throat> that's why I don't always end up using it because it is kind of more difficult to um, close if it's if you're holding it and trying to do it one-handed so it flips open to reveal it's got this snap this magnetic pocket here so one there and then it's got these two small pockets. Let's see. I have an LG G3, which is huge. This, let me show you the difference. This is the iPhone 4, iPhone 4S. This is my LG G3. Just so you can reference if your phone will fit in there or not. So there's my G3 pushed in. And there's two of those pockets there. And then the magnetic one. And then in the big part, there's this portion, a middle flap, which is zippered, and then another portion. Okay? So in this front one, I don't know if you can see them very well. There's a zipper part here, which is about the size of my hand. And then here, there's actually a removable pouch. has little snaps on it that snaps in 
and I keep my scissors and needles and a couple stitch markers in there. So you can either leave it in there or you can take it out. And then she has on the sides of this like a little elastic, a little elastic part where you can put your skein of yarn in. And then it has a thing that I think they call them a circlet, and it snaps. It's just a little circle so that your yarn can come through it and not get caught on anything. And there's an elastic thing with a circlet on both sides of that front portion. In the back portion, there's spots for needles. Let's see if I can get you to see that. There's spots here for needles, scissors, whatever, another zipper part here and another circlet. As you can see it just snaps open and closed <clears throat> so that your yarn can fit there too. And then that's that. Um, I did order her newest one that she just just released it. It's called Cora. And it's um, it's got quite a few different neat features on it so um, I got a notice today that it was shipped so I will do a review on it on my next video hopefully I'll have it so these little pockets they're it's really thick material okay and inside of it I've got my scissors of course now that I'm trying to show you they're being difficult but I've got scissors and needles stitch markers you probably put a cell phone in there a small smaller cell phone there's the 4s in there you can see it's sticking out a little bit with all that stuff in there on top of it so bear in mind it is pretty big but it's nice to have just a little bag with um, like quick things that you need for projects that's enclosed and a little bit safer so that's that and then I will get to Alright, so here's life stories. First off, my in-laws are on their way. I already told you that. Um, we're going to start remodeling and painting rooms and things. My mother-in-law likes painting, so I'm not going to fight her on it. Uh, I do have... There's not a lot else going on personal life-wise. Um, <clears throat> I am almost 15 weeks pregnant at this point. We got to hear the heartbeat last time we went to the doctor's appointment, which was really exciting. My next appointment isn't until the 4th of December, and then I'm going to see if maybe I can talk them into doing an early anatomy scan, because they wanted to wait, they want to wait until 20 weeks to do it, but 20 weeks would put me into like January 3rd, so I'm hoping that maybe I can talk them into doing it like... 18th or 19th week so that I can know before Christmas because our plan was kind of to do like a some kind of gift present maybe for our parents to open on Christmas that told them what we were having. We'll see. So this actually this whole video thing is actually about knitting believe it or not. Um, so I will get down to what I've got um, what I'm working on. Basically, I worked on two things off and on, and it was only the two things that I worked on. Well, three things, because I have some finished objects. But I've been working on my grandma's husband's blanket, trying to get that done for Christmas. Um, and for those of you who watched my previous episodes, you've heard me talk about how um, my mom just informed me not too long ago that he isn't doing that well. And then the doctors didn't give him that long to be alive. So hopefully I can get it done before Christmas and he can cuddle with it for a while. Okay, so you've seen these before. These are socks for my husband. And I they're toe up, just plain vanilla. Just a moment, there's a guy coming. Sorry about that. Hopefully I won't have to be interrupted again. But anyways, so this is my husband's socks. They're just plain vanilla. Um, 
I just finished the heel, which is a fish lips, fish lips kiss heel. I think on the neck socks that I do for myself, I'm going to try the sweet tomato heel. We'll see. Um, I want to find a sock pattern that I like to go with it. So, anyways, I just finished the heel, and I'm just starting the ribbing. He doesn't like long socks. He likes short socks. So I will be doing that. And this is in Romania color. I'll just show you that because it's in German. And this is... I don't think that these have color names, so I'm going to go with 07186. I don't know. I'll show you that. There's. This is the only other thing that's different. And so, I got two skeins of this because in my head I thought, oh, well, these would be really good long socks, but he doesn't like long socks. So, um, this is what the skein looks like, and I do have a second one. There is plenty on it. I think I'm going to do a hat, maybe for my brother or somebody. We'll see. So that's that, and this is just the first one. I don't have a second one started or anything. That's just been sitting there, like, calling my name for me to finish, but I just don't have any desire didn't have any desire to work on it, so. Um, finished objects, I have got, I've been working on the blanket, like I had said, for my grandma's husband, and I thought, well, I should probably do something for my grandma hand knit, so that she can have a hand knit Christmas present as well. So, what I did is I originally was going to make some burp cloths for baby, and this is a burp cloth pattern out of Mason Dixon Knitting. I don't remember the name for sure of it, but um, I had some cotton yarn, so I figured I'll just make her some washcloth. This one has a duck on it. And these are all just out of sugar and cream. Is that what that stuff is? And this one has a heart. I figured I better throw in a Christmas colored one. And then I'm just going to take those and wrap them. I'm going to put some body wash and body lotion in there. And send them out just like a little care package so that she can have an idea as to what that is. And then that's that. So those are my, that's my only finished project is those three washcloths. And they're really quick. I needed a day. I just needed something to be finished. So I feel like I've been working on a million projects for forever and never had anything finished besides socks. So I figured, okay, well, I need some instant gratification knitting. So that's what I did. Um, I just, I spent two days doing all three of those, and then I was done with one Christmas present, which was nice. Okay. So the other thing is we finally had to take down our winter clothes. We had to get our coats and that kind of stuff down. Today is the first day that we've gotten snow, but it's been pretty chilly. Um, not super chilly enough, but at night when the sun goes down it gets a little bit cold. So in the process I realized that at some point I either left my knitted hats that I made for myself in Montana at my parents' house before I moved with my husband, or I don't know where they went. So I don't really have, like, I have a winter hat, but it's like a Walmart stocking cap. And I'm like, that's stupid, I'm a knitter. So I went into my collection of patterns, and I found some hat ones, and then this is the yarn that I'm going to use on it. I don't know if you can see the sparkles. There's some sparkles in there. And it's basically like um, a couple different a couple different um, bluish colors in there. And it is a Red Heart Boutique Midnight in the color Moonlight. And so I have a couple of those, so I'm going to make myself, <laughs> I'm going to 
Hinagiku hat, Hinagaiku hat, I'm not sure how to say it, um, which I got off of Ravelry. I will link it in the show notes so that if you want to see it, you can go to it. Um, I want to do that for myself. And then, that's about all I've got going on knitting wise. I did get, because I had saw the the burp cloth that I showed you that I did for, excuse the wrestling here for a minute, that I did for that, I found out that it's only in this book. I couldn't find the pattern anywhere else, so I just decided to order the book on probably Amazon. And I didn't, I found it pretty, it's a pretty cheap, it was a hardback was cheaper than the soft cover. So I got it, and that's a Mason Dixon knitting. It has 30 different projects in it, and some jokes and some other things, some dishcloths, um, I think, let's see if I can find what that bit is called, <coughs> or the, whatever it is. It's got like blankets and things in it. Um, this is actually kind of cool. This is called the Circle of Fun Rub. I'll try and show it to you. You can make it in a smaller version and do something with it that way. I think it's called like the Easy. I'm not going to guess. I'll just find it on the page of it. It is called the Baby Genius Burp Cloth. But I really liked it. It kind of has a little bit of extra texture in it. So I decided to do that. And I was just, like I said, going to make it for baby. And then I thought, oh, I better make something for grandma. So I just kept going and then um, ended up making that for my grandma. And that's that. I do want to make my mom some mittens for Christmas. This is my planned Christmas knitting, I guess. I want to do mittens for my mom hat for probably my younger brother. Um, I have a toy that I want to make for my niece. I have a lot planned, but I don't, it's not anything that I absolutely have to do, so <clears throat> if I get it done, <clears throat> it's extra, and I get it done, and that's exciting. So I'm not going to try and put any pressure on myself. The only thing I really, really, really want to get done, for sure by Christmas or by the time I go pick up my husband's puppy, which is his Christmas present, is the blanket for my grandma's husband because that that right now is priority number one because I want to get it done here in the next couple of weeks. I only have three skeins left to add into it. So, 14 skeins down three. And that's about it. Other than that, I haven't worked, I haven't even opened <clears throat> any of my other <coughs> projects, excuse me, that are sitting on the shelf. I haven't opened anything. I haven't done anything. I just did the washcloth, and that was the only thing that's changed from any of that. So, um, now we were on to the time to remodel and get things done here. And so that's all exciting and new what's happening here. So, um, again, I will make li a show link to the hat so you can see it. It's a pretty simple hat, but it <clears throat> is really textured and fun looking. Oh, so exciting. So, my husband's early Christmas present to me, and this is happening tomorrow, uh, he got t tickets for us to go to the Trans-Siberian Orchestra. <laughs> so, I'm going to go, we're going to go tomorrow, it's tomorrow night at like 8 p.m., which is crazy for me, because I'm already like, oh, I'm But that's okay. I'm pretty excited for that tomorrow. So that's part of why his parents are coming up today is so that they can watch our motel tomorrow while we go and do that. So that is the end of my story. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your evening. Enjoy your festive <clears throat> Thanksgiving holidays. And keep your needles clicking. See you next time.